It is Tuesday, November 30th. I'm Alicia Smith with 7 Action News. Here are your headlines. Help is on the way in Michigan's fight against the coronavirus. 22 federal workers are now heading to Beaumont Dearborn as we're dealing with this fourth surge of COVID-19 in Michigan. All of this coming just days after the new variant Omicron was identified in South Africa. It is not yet known whether infections of that particular variant are any more severe. The new team will be ready for action by Friday. A command center is being set up for them so they can help. 24 7. The search is on to find the person who broke into Congresswoman Debbie Dingell's office in Dearborn yesterday and vandalized the place. We're told that some of the items that were damaged belonged to Dingell's late husband, former Congress member John Dingell. Investigators say U.S. Capitol Police are assisting in this investigation. Neither Dingell nor any of her staff members were in the office at the time of that break in. Today is Giving Tuesday, a time with a lot of people are donating to their favorite charities. Michigan Humane and Sellers Subaru are celebrating the day by attending their event in Campus Marshes Park. You can find a number of animals there to snuggle with. The event runs from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. It features a giving tree to benefit shelter animals and on-site donation opportunities. Now for a quick check of your seven first alert forecast. This morning's going to be partly cloudy with highs in the mid 40s, overnight lows in the low 30s, partly sunny skies and a mix of snow and rain, about 20% chance for that. Of course, we're going to be gradually warming up to Thursday's high of 48 degrees and then we start to march back down and our best chance for snow will be Sunday and Monday, about a 20% chance. Our lows will be in the upper 20s and low 30s throughout the week.